Are you a fan of classic Hollywood films? If so, you might have a favorite classic Hollywood actor in mind. But have you ever wondered who stole the show in the 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street? This heartwarming holiday classic has left a lasting impact on audiences over the years. But which classic Hollywood actor was your favorite in this timeless tale? Now, as we dive into some random facts about this movie, y'all discover intriguing details about its production and how it became a beloved part of cinematic history. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to Miracle on 34th Street? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts on the film and your favorite classic Hollywood actor in this heartwarming classic. Maureen O'Hara was ultimately forced into her role against her will, as she had just returned to Ireland before being called back to America for the film. However, she immediately changed her sentiments upon reading the script. In the 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street, Maureen O'Hara, who played the character Doris Walker, initially didn't want the role. She had just returned to Ireland but was called back to America for the film. However, after reading the script, she changed her mind and took on the role. This interesting twist in casting showcases how sometimes first impressions can be deceiving, and a good script can change one's perspective. In the 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street, an interesting twist occurred during its production. The film's producers approached both Macy's and Gimbel's for permission to depict their stores in the movie. Surprisingly, both companies wanted to see the finished film before granting approval. If either had refused, extensive editing and reshooting would have been necessary to remove the references. Fortunately, at the test viewing, both Macy's and Gimbel's were pleased with the film and gave their permission. This behind-the-scenes negotiation ensured that the iconic stores played a central role in the movie. This fact sheds light on the importance of these department stores in the film's authenticity and how the producers had to secure their cooperation for a successful portrayal of the story. It's a testament to the unique challenges faced during the making of Miracle on 34th Street and the fascinating history behind this beloved Christmas classic. Stay tuned for more intriguing insights about this timeless film. The rivalry between Macy's and Gimbel's depicted in the film was very real. They were major competitors just blocks from each other in New York. The rhetorical question, does Macy's tell Gimbel's, was a popular phrase in the 1 to 1960 seconds, signifying that business competitors didn't share trade secrets. This real-life competition added authenticity to the movie's portrayal of the department stores. It's a testament to the film's commitment to realism, highlighting the fierce rivalry that existed in the retail world during that era. When the picture opened at the Roxy, Macy's closed for half a day so its 12,000 employees could see the first showing. This demonstrates the impact the film had on Macy's and its staff. It was a rare gesture that showcased the special connection between the movie and the iconic store. This fact sheds light on the film's significance and its heartwarming influence on Macy's employees, making it more than just a movie but a cherished part of their history. The 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street stands out as the only film to feature an Oscar-winning Santa Claus portrayal, masterfully played by Edmund Gwen. This iconic performance brought the character of Kris Kringle to life in a way that has yet to be surpassed on the big screen. Edmund Gwen's convincing and heartwarming portrayal of Santa remains a timeless highlight of this beloved Christmas classic. It's a testament to the film's enduring charm and the exceptional talent of its cast. The film's success was not only due to its stellar cast, but also its ability to capture the spirit of the holiday season. A heartwarming story of Kris Kringle's journey to prove the existence of Santa Claus tugs at the heartstrings of viewers even decades after its release. Miracle on 34th Street has become an integral part of the holiday tradition for many, thanks in no small part to Edmund Gwen's memorable performance as Santa Claus. In the world of cinema, few portrayals have left such an indelible mark as Gwen's Santa Claus, and Miracle on 34th Street remains a timeless classic that continues to bring joy to audiences of all ages during the holiday season. Edmund Gwen gained 30 pounds to play Chris in the 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street. 
This dedication to his role added authenticity to his portrayal of Santa Claus, making it a standout performance. Gwen's commitment to his character is a testament to the effort put into creating this beloved Christmas classic. The 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street, a beloved Christmas classic, had its share of interesting facts and trivia. One noteworthy detail is that Alvin Greenman, who portrayed Alfred in the film, was the last surviving cast member until his passing on July 14, 2016. At the age of 86, another fascinating tidbit from the movie is the wonderful bargain of $8.50 for a toy fire engine, a price that would be equivalent to $99.32 in today's money. Furthermore, the film's financial success is worth mentioning. Miracle on 34th Street grossed over four times its budget, solidifying its place as a holiday favorite. These facts shed light on different aspects of the 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street, from the cast's history to the film's financial achievements, making it even more intriguing for fans and movie enthusiasts. So, there you have it, some lesser known details about this timeless classic. The 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street initially had a different title, Christmas Miracle on 34th Street, but the first word was dropped because the release date was moved to the summer. Other working titles for the film included The Big Heart, My Heart Tells Me, and It's Only Human. This change in the title reflects the film's journey from conception to production, and it's interesting to see how the filmmakers settled on the final name. It's a testament to the creative process behind this beloved Christmas classic. Valentine Davies, the writer of the script, came up with the idea while struggling through the Christmas shopping crowds, trying to find a present for his wife. The commercialism he witnessed during this experience made him wonder what the real Santa Claus would make of it all. This unique inspiration sheds light on the core theme of the movie, which revolves around the spirit of Christmas and the true meaning of Santa Claus. It's a remarkable insight into the origins of the heartwarming story. Unusually, there were two Christmas films nominated for Best Picture at the 1947 Academy Awards, this one and Henry Coster's The Bishop's Wife. They joined It's a Wonderful Life the year before as the only three Christmas movies to be nominated for Best Picture. This remarkable achievement speaks to the enduring appeal and impact of the 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street. It's not just a beloved holiday classic, but also a significant cinematic work recognized by the Academy. The fact that it shares this honor with only a few other Christmas films underlines its place in cinematic history. The film's heartwarming story and memorable characters have left an indelible mark on audiences, making it a timeless favorite. So, if you're looking for a classic Christmas movie that made it to the big league at the Oscars, Miracle on 34th Street is certainly one to consider. As we bring this enchanting journey through the heartwarming 1947 movie Miracle on 34th Street to a close, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound an enduring impact this timeless film has had on your life. Whether it's the gentle message of faith and the power of kindness, the belief in the magic of the holiday season, or simply the joy of witnessing a Santa Claus who captures the hearts of all who encounter him, there's something truly special about this cinematic masterpiece. As you think back on your personal connection with Miracle on 34th Street, I encourage you to share your favorite memories, the scenes that have lingered in your mind, or the emotions it has stirred within you. This film has touched the lives of generations and continues to be a source of inspiration, reminding us that miracles can indeed happen in the most unexpected places, and that the spirit of Christmas is alive in all of us. Your thoughts and reflections are a testament to the enduring power of this classic, and by sharing your insights, you contribute to the tapestry of shared experiences that make it so beloved. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey through Miracle on 34th Street. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated, and we hope this timeless tale continues to hold a special place in your heart. Warmest regards, and may your holiday season be filled with its own magical moments.